assalamu alaikum welcome back my students in this section we will learn about laravel authentication we will register our user and we will configure email sending for password reset for our users we will also reset password using the email feature you have to practice this section at least two times because in the next lecture we will start advanced authentication system we will not use this laravel authentication but this will give you complete idea of doing things so let's start i am removing previous uh, installation folder because we will do fresh installation for this uh, section create a new project just like we did in previous lectures Let's open the folder. And now for authentication, we will go to the folder learning and then php artisan make auth now it created for us these routes and a controller and some view files so here is our controller home controller and we have this construct method where we have middleware auth. Close these files. Now we have two options login and register. If we click on login, we see login page, and on register, we see register page. Now let's set up our database. We have created new database name of learning. 
and the username of database is root and I have no password. So let's migrate this. And now I have error. Now we have error 1071 specified key was too long. And how did we solve this problem in our previous lecture? Please pause this video here and solve this error by yourself. And then come again and unpause this video and see how to resolve this error. Because at this stage you must know how to resolve this error. So I am writing a schema default string length 191. I don't know why I always write 191 because I read somewhere but you can assign any any number for string length. Now again migration, so migration is done. Let's go to our database and see what tables are here. So we have users, password reset and migrations. It means that it generated two tables for us, users and password reset. So here is the table. So let's register our first user. Click on register link and then fill the complete form. Click the register button. And now it's registered us and also login. Now let's go to the database and check what happened to our user table. Now you can see that we have a password which is not in a string. This is encoded. This is in encoded format. And we have our remember token field. Now log out this and log in and click on forget password button and I'm giving my email address and now we have this error expected response this is because we haven't set any email sending method for setting up this email method let's go to our files and go open up env file and here we have the SMTP. I will use Google. So I will use smtp.gmail.com. And its port is 587. And the username, the email address users will get email and for password and TLS now PHP artisan config cache we have to reset our cache and click this button again for sending password reset link and now we have another error and this is because on our id we haven't allowed this method so for allowing this method we have to go to the Google account 
so we have to open our google account and in our security section we have this less secure app access and it is currently off so we have to turn it on for sending emails so let's turn it on and that's it now let's go back to our project and click on send password reset link and now we have emailed your password click on this password reset now here you can see that you have a token against your email address let's check our email here is the email that has a password reset link Just click on this button of reset link and this URL will not work until and unless we fill it up properly because our project name is learning and this project is running in public directory and now I will write my own email address and I will type my new password. and then click on reset password button and that's it your password has been reset and password reset table will be clear it will automatically delete the entry thank you for watching this lecture and i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye